Hello everybody and welcome back to the Brickazoids Den. So today I thought I would do a ideas video. I have some ideas to share with you all. Um, because uh, for Christmas I had gotten the Fox Dumbledore's Phoenix buildable animal, whatever character, whatever you want to call it. And also uh, last year, the year before I should say, 2020, I had gotten the Hedwig buildable animal or buildable character, whatever. Um, and I thought I would share some ideas of other creatures and characters that they could do for these $40 um, buildable characters. Now, this year, 2022, I didn't see a $40 set on the second half of, uh, of the year Harry Potter uh, leak list. I only saw uh, 50 and above. So, will there be a buildable character for this year? Maybe, maybe they made a bigger one, like, um, I don't know, like a bigger, bigger character to do for, for, uh, this year and just bumped up the price to 50 or 60 or around whatever, whatever price, um, so that they can add more pieces so that they can make the build a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just go share some ideas. So let's get going. So to start off for the first idea that I have for the buildable animals or whatever you want to call it. We have Neogini, which is Voldemort's snake. Um, I think this could be a cool build. It could be um, Voldemort, like on like the little um, minifigure plaque thing. It would have Voldemort, and then it would also have um, Nagini. Is that I don't remember how to say the snake's name, but you could have like that uh, uh, piece that came in the uh, what was it the minifigure series for Voldemort and stuff like that. And I think that the builds could just be Nagini, Nagini, whatever, coiled up um, with the top of the top of the I don't know head uh, with its mouth open, kind of like that. Like the the snake head would be on top, while the rest of the body is coiled up on like the little um, the little stand or, or whatever you want. What, what would it be called? Not the stand, but the uh, the base, the base, and then. Um, maybe it's like a darker base because they usually do brown for these, uh, uh, brown and gold. And then this one could be like black because it's Voldemort and, and it's, it's the Death Eaters and colors like that. Um, and then you could have like the little printed piece that says Neogini, whatever. And, uh, yeah, no, I just thought that would be a cool idea for like a villain, a villain's, uh, a buildable animal. And then for another one would be just a random one. Luna Lovegood's Pygmy, I think it's called. It's like the little pink puff ball thing. I think that could be kind of cool if they just kind of made it like way bigger and then had Luna and then uh, obviously a smaller version of it on the little minifigure plaque. Have it say uh, whatever the Luna, whatever the name of it was. Unless it is Pygmy. I, I don't remember. I don't remember. I haven't watched the Harry Potter movies in a while. I basically just looked up um, creatures and animals from Harry Potter and just grabbed a few. So that could be pretty cool, you know, just have that in the middle. Nothing too crazy there, no crazy design, just kind of have it in the middle um, of the of the base. All right, so another idea. Now, this this could actually be this year's buildable character because of the price increase here. It could be a giant Buckbeak. They could do a buildable bu uh, Buckbeak, and you could have Hagrid. I don't know what the, the if there's like a smaller version of it, but Hagrid uh, on, the, on the minifigure plaque. And then it says Buckbeak on it, and then maybe it could be more of a um, more of a horizontal kind of base, so you can actually fit Buckbeak kind of standing there. So you kind of turn it to the side a little bit instead of actually looking at his face, and um, you know his four legs on there, and then have like the full builds for the wings and everything. Same same uh, wing function, I guess. You know, you could turn something, and the and the wings would flap, um, unless they want to put him in a pose where he's kind of like up up on his hind legs. But I thought that could be a pretty cool one, considering, like I said, the price increase for this year. Um, there could potentially be a giant Buckbeak as that $50 uh, buildable character or whatever price they decide to go for with that. Um, and then another one, this one's kind of boring, I'll be honest with you, but I just thought I'd throw this one in here anyway, would be Crookshanks, which is Hermione's cat. I don't really, I don't really know, like... What you could really do with this one, I mean, it'd obviously be Hermione, and then it'd obviously be, like, a cat piece for the for the minifigure stand, and it would say Crookshanks, whatever. But I, I don't know if I'd be really, like, excited to get that one, because that one's not, that's just a cat. It's nothing crazy that's really different about it. 
I mean, you could have it in like a, a, a sleeping pose or like a light laying down pose or something, or even standing. I don't know, but I don't know. I, I just didn't, or sitting, I guess you could do probably as well. Um, then I don't know if I'd be really excited for that one. That's not the best uh, choice that they could go with, but whatever. And then I also put down here Scabbers, which is Ron's brat. Same thing. I don't know if it really catch my attention as much as like Hedwig Fox and then the uh, uh, Buckbeak and, and Neogini would um, would catch my attention here because it you know it's just a rat. It's like what well, it, it's nothing crazy. And same thing with with uh, Hermione's cat. It's like uh, just nothing just nothing crazy about it that that would really entice me. There'd be no uh, a wing function to fly around with both of them and. I don't know. It just it, it wasn't the the two best ideas, but uh, I'm curious if they would do it because Ron and Hermione are obviously main characters of Harry Potter, so they might want to try and uh, give their animals some love too. But I don't know. I don't think it, I don't think it would do as well as something like a Buckbeak or a uh, Nagini. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. That was uh, that was fun to go through some ideas. And if you enjoyed that video, do the comment YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.